So here we have the LAB. It took about three days. It uh, separated completely this, uh, probably in the middle of the night, early this morning. It's been about 12 hours since it has. And now I'm going to pretty much drain it. I don't have any cheesecloth, but I have this cloth here that I rinsed out pretty well and made sure there's no soap on it. It's important to get all the curds out of there. You know, you don't want the curds. There's a protein that's uh, that, that starts to break down pretty bad and kind of becomes toxic for you. Another reason why uh, you uh, don't want to let it sit like this and any longer than 12 hours because of uh, a toxic chemical or compound that happens from the lactic acid breaking down the proteins from the milk. So I'm about ready to strain this. So this one is a little messy as you can probably see. But Oh well. Let's see here. This is my second uh, straining, actually third straining of the uh, LAB. I'm really trying to get all the milk, the uh, way out of there, all the milk protein. Pretty dense uh, mixture here. I'm not sure if you guys uh, are able to see it, but. There you go. Some, some mold spores. Unfortunately, I didn't think about it, but uh, we had some potatoes in here, and uh, they were going bad. And I think that didn't help out any. So we had uh, two of the three jars have uh, kind of a mold outbreak happen on them, if you will, because of the composting vegetables in our pantry so I made a mistake but we did have one jar with no uh, mold or anything on it so I'm gonna just use that and then I have more rice so I'm gonna probably just do this again and uh, you know <sighs> oh well so I was not too happy with this batch of LAB, but I'll still use this for plants that we have. Uh, I'll, I'll just apply this to the backyard. I, as you can tell right here is too white. What will happen is I'll put these in the refrigerator and then all the uh, milk proteins will separate and I can further strain it. Uh, this one strained a lot better, but there was, uh, it looked like there's some green uh, lechin or lechin or a green kind of fungus was starting to grow on top of the milk. So I'm going to make another batch here. Like these are great for the backyard, using them for the plants for the most part. But uh, I wanted to make another batch for human consumption. They really kind of want a nice clear like yellowish color, kind of similar to this. But still yet. Um, so yeah. Wasn't a total failure, but still I'm gonna make another batch and try to make it a little better. And uh, yep, sorry, kind of tired. A lot of things going on, squeezing in this video here. <laughs>